What's up everybody, Steve here. Obviously I'm leaving work and I'm filthy, but let me just give you a brief overview of the modern day Democratic Party. You wanna call something with a penis a woman. You want women in the workforce, but at the same time, you want to respect the Muslim culture of baiting your women into submission, throwing acid on them when their burqa slips, and if a woman is to protest with a Muslim, she must humble herself in front of the man and wear a burqa, whether she's Muslim or not, to appease their religion. So that's not very, you know, women empowering, is it? Donald Trump says he wants to get rid of the criminalization of homosexuality across the world. And instead, that is interpreted as disrespectful to Muslim countries because we don't want you to kill somebody because of their sexual orientation. That is somehow prejudicial. You're worried about something that John Wayne said 50 fucking years ago and he's already fucking dead. Newsflash, rewind 50 years, you're almost right there in the fucking civil rights movement. There were racists everywhere. You want to be able to abort a baby the day before the due date, but if I kill a pregnant woman, it's double homicide. If a business is cooking pork in the same business district as a Muslim owned business, they are pretty much forced to leave the area. But if you are white and a Christian and you don't want to bake a cake for gay marriage, you get slapped with a six figure lawsuit. You want to call pedophilia a natural sexual orientation. You want free health care free college, but you want lower taxes, which is what would have to pay for it all. Because believe it or not, the word free does not mean that somehow the books get manufactured for free and the doctors and teachers get their educations for free and then therefore work for no salary. You wanted free health care and free medication and guaranteed health care with the ability to keep your doctor and rates wouldn't go up, but you already fucked that up. You don't want the border secure, even though there is a high percentage of illegal immigration linked to drugs and sex trafficking, but you want to control the guns in my household that I pay for as a law abiding citizen when 0.001% of legal gun owners actually do something dangerous.